I'm proud to be African. Africa is full of its dynamics, rich in culture expressions. This dates back to time in memorial. Throughout Africa, shrines and scarred sites were created by our ancestors. These places were used to offer sacrifices to their Mpambe, Chisumpi, Leza, in other words, God, God, in times of drought and other calamities. Today, I'm taking you on a journey to Kuluvi. Kuluvi is located in Sanji district in Lower Shire Valley in southern region of Malawi. It is an important spiritual place among the Manganja tribe. where we we starting this is where we starting going to the, to the this is a place where they worshipped the spirit of Mbona according to the Manganja oral tradition. Mbona is believed to have had superhuman powers. He lived in this area during the rise of the Lundu kingdom. It is said that he had magic powers of bringing rain creating walls of water on sandy lands. Creating forests where they did not exist. And he could hide from enemies by turning into other creatures. Mbona had an uncle by the name of Mlaoli, who was also a magician. He aved his nephew and wanted to kill him. Mlaoli, however, failed to kill Mbona. Upon his wish to die on his own, he told Mlaoli and his enemies to cut his throat with a leaf of reed after other weapons have failed to harm him. His head was cut and placed at Kuluvi's carried glaives, where we are today. One thing you have to note is that we cannot go into this forest unless we wore a black cloth. Here we are on our journey to Simbona. People here believe that Mbona still live in different creatures. But what really is this Mbona? The first time I heard about it is when I was doing research about traditional medicine. While trying to investigate this, that's how I came across the Mbona stories. Uh, in Sanje at Kuluvi, that specific place, there's his shrine and it's uh, specifically to the Manganja tribe. So when I was doing my research, I found out that the ones in Mulanja are also Manganja, and they were claiming that some in the central region, but I'm not authority to speak on this, they also believe in the Mbona thing, but it's secretive. So when I was doing my research to find out exactly what exactly is this Mbona thing, they claimed that he was the best singer that has ever been, who has ever lived on earth. But as I said before, I'm not here to verify anything. This is just what I was, I was told. So they claim that um, there's that Mbona spirit on, spirit on Mulanje Mountain, but he comes as a snake and he's a traditional healer. They claim that the kind of snake he comes, he comes as, it's usually upright, you know, I guess like a person. And, and when you go there, you find they claim that um, there's a big snake and when you go there, it sits, it's upright. 
and then it talks to you and if it allows you then you can pa pass the path and go to the other side of the secret place of the mountain where they claim there are herbs and so forth Magoro amaruza e mbona ata pedwa e pamene bwana enda magazi yake yo ndaka sanduka kanisinje kumene kuda kaima magazi yo mene kuda sanduka dziwe la ndiwoni kusanduka ago ata sanduka adi e magoro amaruza kuti Anasa nduka njoka, nsato. Ndiye ima kwa nantawi, yote ya mapita kupili, uduta bobo mapaja. Ndiye ima kwa pojoka kupili kuja, ama bwela ndiji pepo, manso ndiji mfula, kubwela kuti, kubwela kumaro waki. Nchipukaja yake, kwa makala nyumba, ya iye yombona, yote sila monsembe, ama kala nintawi, yote uti afike, azaone antu, azaje zendi antu. It is pleased to note that people from all over the world come here periodically to worship the spirit of Ubona. From this place, I was denied to take pictures. I got very disappointed, but I'll try to draw what I saw. There are two huts at the center of Kuluvi. One for Salima. Salima is the wife of Mbona, and the other one for Mbona. Every night, Bona visits the wife. A lot of people have testified of meeting Bona face to face, either in his snake-like form or some indescribable image. People have heard him talk. And they claim, also claim that once in a while, this snake or should I say serpent, or should I say a spirit serpent, it becomes a man. And this man, according to them, has a beard. And um, the way they described him, his eyes are like this, like a dove or a pigeon, and um, he comes as a man. And, and they also have similar beliefs about um, this spirit requiring a wife. It is said that Mbona has been punishing people who disobeyed him. He destroyed them who wanted to destroy his Kuruvi forest. Nampasankuni, <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Thank you.
iyi ni mbili ndipo magolo watu mazikurubilira ndipo ifenso tende ka kuzikurubilira kuopa tsoka indeed a lot of stories and experiences are told sometimes these stories are so hard to understand and with the modernity so difficult to accept and so difficult to believe but the best line is bona is indescribable and he lives on After my heart-breathtaking experience here at Kuluvi, I have learned that this place is of big spiritual value. It has a social and cultural value to all people. It has a historical value. Just imagine my moving around Kuluvi. It's a clear testimony that our ancestors existed here. Lastly, it has some scientific value. It's a thick forest and it's important for biodiversity and this is a source of medical plants i am a happy man today to have visited kulovi a place of huge significance